Hey guys, James here, uh, Berkeley Suzuki Customs. Got our Sierra gearbox here and non VVT Jimny one. So, plan is we're going to um, this gearbox behind an M18 into the Maruti. Now, to make it a bolt in swap, we're going to be using the extension housing from this Sierra box, 1.3 Sierra box. We're going to unbolt it, um, see what needs to be swapped over. I'm saying all the shifter shifter forks and stuff like that will have to come out and go into this one. I'm told it's a bolt, bolt in, bolt out swap, so we'll give it a go and see what it comes out like. I'll take some more videos and photos to come. Catch us later. Alright, this box has been sitting around for a bit, so a little bit of built up rust up here, which I'll clean up. It should be fine. Uh, it did have oil in it, so I'm just draining the oil out. Next step, I think I've got to split the case so the top of this has to come off. And I'm going to get these shifters out and swap them into this one. Radio boxes apart, shifter forks in the Sierra. So this back one here, furthest one towards us, should come straight out by the looks of it. The next one, I'm going to remove a collet here. And the third one, I've got to remove one as well. And then they should all come out. And then, hopefully, pull this apart to the same place I've got this one. And it all should go back in to that one, with the Sierra extension housing on top. And then it's done. Ready to go. Alright, we'll get busy. Shift the forks all out, just be careful when removing them, there are bore bearings which are under pressure with the springs, you can see the springs in there, these are the little bore bearings, so I've got five of them, one goes in sideways in between, uh, shift the forks are here, uh, that's it for the Sierra box, all parts are out that I need, under the Jimny box, let's do it. The removal on the Jimny box this is the just a, sh a shifter plate cover where the shifter mechanism goes in. This on the Jimny. We have a remote shifter. That bolts onto there. So we're replacing that with this. So this will bolt onto here, and then the shifter will come out in the same position for a Sierra using those. Alright, so take these six off here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then split the face in half. Right. Extension housing removed. As you can see, the shifter forks are a lot shorter. Now, I'm just to uh, remove the front cover and all these bolts on the top, and then lift off. So here we have. Jimny casing, Sierra shifter forks are in. These um, these actual forks here are the Jimny ones. Being that they're inside the Jimny box, I thought it best to use those. You don't have much choice on the Sierra. You have to use the Sierra one here because it's different. 
Alright. Here we go, the uh, box back together. Chimney box with the Sierra shifter forks in it. About to elastic up and put the extension housing on. Okay guys, and there we have it. One Jimny slash Sierra gearbox for the M series conversion into a Sierra. It all bolts as together like it should. So we'll see how it goes when it goes in the car. But this came out of a good running Jimny that I um, parted out. So we'll see. But it shifts gears like it should. It's perfect. All right, thanks, guys. So the problem I found is this shaft here sits too high and fouls on the Sierra case. Uh, so I cut it off. everyone that's what it looks like with it cut off I left the so clip there I really don't know what it's gonna do um, this is all just testing someone's got to test it I guess for everybody else so I have tried it on top it does sit flush now It's all the way down. This is what happens if you don't cut the shaft. That was my first attempt. I wasn't aware. Nobody mentioned anything like this. But I guess that's what happens. Alright, peace out. There we have it. Chimney gearbox all done. It will now bolt in with the Sierra cross member. Perfect. And this is what the motoring box is going into. We go on the 1.8 Liana. Gonna convert it to non-VVT. So I don't have to worry about any of that CAN bus or immobilizers and keys and stuff. And I'll probably run a uh, M16 non-VVT computer and harness on it. All right, see you later guys. That's it for now.